Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Wednesday, September 11th, 2019. Happy Hump Day to you all. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, yeah, it still feels pretty heavy, not going to lie. Energies are still quite heavy. Um, but getting, let's just dive right in. Getting into your pre-shuffle here. Uh, the first card that came out was the Ace of Cups. Then we had the Ace of Wands and then the Magician. There are a lot of ones here. Lots of initiation, I guess you could say. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands with the Magician. The Magician being the first card of the major... Well, not the first card, but it's the number one card of the major arcana, yes? The first card is the Fool. Um, <clears throat> the Magician comes right after the Fool. Uh, the Ace of Cups fell out... Well, okay, we have that. And then overall energy, we have the Nine of Cups. Yes, with the Emperor. Okay, so... Again, more initiative energy uh, with the Emperor representing Aries energy, okay? Uh, ooh, ooh, excuse me. Um, but anyway, so the first card that fell out was the Ace of Cups. And what I was getting with that is um, there's a, a deep sense of self-love here. Okay, that is bringing forward some sort of inspiration to move in a new direction. It is um, what this Ace of Cups feels like is, is, is a realization of a desire to love oneself better, needing to love oneself better, wanting to, um, recognizing the value that you do have, learning to recognize your worth um, through the eyes, I want to say what I just heard is through the eyes of God, through the eyes of creator, source, um, but also from your own point of view, not, it, this really feels like not finding your self-worth through the eyes of, the, of another, but through your own self, um, shining a light on your own self-worth filling your own cup, which then is leading to some sort of inspiration, some sort of spark of creation, I guess you could say. Um, <laughs> spark of creation. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the show Children of Eden. Um, it's a musical. I was in that once. I went to theater camp when I was in high school. I went to Stage Door Manor, and we did Children of Eden, and I played Adam and Noah. It's the story of Adam and Eve, and then also the story of Noah's Ark and um, the brothers Cain and Abel and all that stuff. It's an, Actually, it's a great show. I love that show. The music is fantastic. I had a lot of fun in it. But every time I see this Ace of Wands, which can, in my opinion, as I've said in the past, can be seen as like a minor arcana version of the tower. But anytime I see this Ace of Wands with this lightning strike, I think of the spark of creation, which is one of the songs from that show. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Um, we have a situation here where the love that you are generating within, the love that you are showing yourself is inspiring you somehow to manifest something, a, uh, the magician. Uh, and what I really feel like, it's not necessarily that this is influencing you to manifest something in particular or specific, at least it can, it can be. It's just that's not what I'm really picking up. What I'm picking up on is the fact that this is inspiring you to get motivated to create again, to, to uh, manifest again. There even could be some sort of clarity, especially with this emperor energy. There could be some sort of clearing away of obstacles, old thoughts or beliefs, um, old cycles and whatnot that have kept you from manifesting what it is you truly desire. All right. Um, and I also do want to say both the emperor and the magician's backs are turned here. But what that to me is speaking to is looking off into distance, into the distance, looking off into the, into the domain and into your domain and um, seeing the potential in what you can create, looking off into the distance and thinking what and saying to yourself, what can I manifest? What can I create? What can I do with this newfound space? 
Nine of Cups being wish fulfillment here. You know, none of this really feels like anything specific other than you just settling into your own essence in a way, which is, yes, an element of you taking your power back with the, with the Emperor energy. It's also an element of wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. It's also an element of being the magician, being a master manifester. Um, and it just, it, it, it really doesn't even feel like you're look, or trying to really create anything specific right now, like I've said already. Even though you do have the Ace of Wands here, it's just that the Ace of Wands with this spark of lightning, what this feels like, this, this stroke of lightning, it just feels like the inspiration to take your power back. Yes, you're going to be manifesting and creating, but that's going to be an end result of this phase that you're in right now that is of you taking, in essence, taking your power back um, and loving yourself fully. fully. I was going to say loving yourself fully. That's interesting. Loving yourself fully, completely, no matter what it entails, no matter what the obstacles are. And I guess you could say loving yourself in a foolish manner because it's complete um, unconditional love. I mean, I, it, I don't think, I think the word, the word being fool being used here is more of a matter of not really caring what it takes to love yourself, just being willing to love yourself, period. Again, regardless of what that entails. Okay. Alrighty, kids. Well, that sounds like fun. <laughs> so I'm going to reset here. And then we're going to get into the rest of the reading for today. Yes? Yes, in diddly do. Nine of Pentacles just wanted to show itself. Independence. Um, and yes, the Nine of Pentacles is an independence card and it can represent abundance in finances and whatnot. It just feels like this is just abundance of self. And the rewards for the hard work that you're doing would come in a sense of satisfaction, of having taken your power back, being the master of your own life. Um, doing what it is you want to do, being happy as you are, okay? Cool. Let me give this one more shuffle, and then we'll see what we've got for the rest of the message for today. All right. Here we go, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, September 11th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. It's so funny, you guys, because I, re I realized as I started the reading that my intro was pretty short. Like, we really just, like, dove right into it. But that's because I totally forgot to mention <laughs> that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The energies are fluid. So just because this is coming through and dated for the 11th of September, it doesn't mean it has to resonate on that day. It could resonate at any moment. Whenever you catch this reading and it resonates for you, that is the message for you at, this t at that time. Also, keep in mind that this is not specific to anything. Love, career, relationship, whatnot, whatever. This is literally just what Spirit wants to discuss with us today. Okay? Excellent. Now, um, I do want to say, I've been seeing 9-11 fairly frequently. Um, I literally, I just saw it on the counter of the video here. Today is September 11th. Now, for those of us here in the United States... We are very familiar with the date of September 11th. 
Um, that was the day that the Twin Towers were attacked and effectively brought down. Um, so for those of you whose families have been affected by that, um, my heart goes out to you. Prayers go to you. Um, for those of you still grieving that situation, my heart goes out to you. Now, with that said, though, um, I have been seeing 9-11 a lot lately, which is, I, I, my, um, I'm under the impression that it is like a, an emergency call, right, for light workers, for individuals that are here to help, um, first responders, whatnot, whatever. And... Um, Yeah, I just wanted to mention that because today, I just saw it again, and today is 9-11. Um, so I think there really is a call right now for people to, you know, step into their power, step into their, I wanted to say, I heard, light working business, whatever that means for you. Yes? Okay, I'm going to give this five shuffles, guys. And then we will see what we've got for today. For the collective, Wednesday, September 11th, 2019. That was three. Four. And five. All righty, kids. Let's see what we've got for today. Best message, please, Spirit. What do you want to discuss with us today? What's going on with the collective today? Okay. Just a little more here. There's some more. There's some more. I'm going to give this one more pass. Um... Hmm. Okay, no, actually, we're gonna. We're, I was gonna give it another pass, but I'm gonna actually stay here. Um, huh, this is actually really, really beautiful and super, super cute. <laughs> okay, we have the two of cups overall. And as you can see here, the Ace of Cups is there in the background, okay? And we have, on the other side, we have the Page of Pentacles. Alrighty, so. Let's just talk about the overall energy so far because this is already pretty significant. We have the Two of Cups here with the Ace of Cups in the background. And as we were talking about with the pre-shuffle, the Ace of Cups was talking about... Um, basically learning to love yourself okay and here with with the two of cups we have the union we have the coming together of the masculine and feminine yes this is absolutely talking about the masculine and feminine within you um, both of those cards both the ace of cups and now the two of cups have a daytime scene so this is an energy of conscious awareness of the union within yourself. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that everything is gun drops and roses <laughs> right now, okay? <laughs> because it's not, or it, does, it, not, it isn't necessarily. Um, because in this coming together energy, in this energy of the two fusing, basically, there are some things that are gonna have to be ironed out. There are some things that are gonna have to be purged. There are some things that are going to have to be fixed. There are some things that are going to have to be looked at, have to be addressed, all right? Um, so it's not all gumdrops and rainbows, but, but once you get through that period of fusing together, yes, then things will settle out, okay? You do have a new beginning new dawn is arising a, a new day is dawning okay page of pentacles um you have the, the 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 cornucopia horn i guess you could call it it's empty but that doesn't mean that it's going to stay empty what i see here with the i do see the sun rising in this situation 
uh, the, a new day is dawning and thus this horn will be able to be filled with the abundance that comes with inner union. Yes? What else do we have here? We have the Page of Cups, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Chariot. But the Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot are reversed. There is, all right. What I just heard is there is stagnation, but that's not necessarily what it is. And I, and, I, and, I, and I kind of scoffed a little bit when they said that because I was like, well, no, I don't want to say that. It's not really stagnation. You're right, it isn't. Ooh, wait, hold on. There's that Eight of Swords again. Okay, it's not stagnation, you guys. It's not. It is a moment for you to collect yourself, okay? This is, at, oh goodness, what else wants to come out here? The King of Cups, okay. Um, this is a moment for you to sit in the dreamer energy for a bit. Page of Cups. Allow the wisdom that you've been acquiring over these few years, last few years, or over this last cycle, however you want to see it. <laughs> um, I just saw 555, five, five, 1555 on the counter. But anyway, um, this is a time to allow the wisdom represented by this turtle here, to sink in, to settle in, to assimilate, to allow yourself to just integrate all the, the messages that you've been getting and everything that you've been learning, all right? This doesn't really feel like much of a time for movement right now. This is a time for you to allow yourself to settle into this new level of commitment and union that you found that you're coming to within to allow yourself to slip out of this Eight of Swords energy. This Eight of Swords keeps coming out and it's this side of the card in which we see that this individual, this woman is so loosely bound that it looks like those, those ropes are just gonna slip right off of her. You've got that eagle soaring in the distance. Fly like an eagle, y'all. I mean, this is the period for you to get into that integration so that you can eventually start to take action steps slowly but surely with the Knight of Pentacles, but moving forward with the chariot. And there are so many backs turned here. So many backs turned. What's underneath this Two of Cups? Yes, the Eight of Cups. Yes. Look, and, it's, and this, this, this side of the Eight of Cups keeps coming out too with the sun and the moon balanced the masculine and feminine literally someone is walking away from all of these eight cups that have been stacked that are no longer serving them this is not the fulfillment that they want in some situations for some of you this does in fact feel like a bait and switch situation in which you were sold a dream that has now not even fully well it has that's the problem see that's the problem it has fully manifested but it's not as complete as you thought it was going to be, or at least as it was sold to you. You thought this was going to be a 10, but what you really got is an 8. And hold on. It's like, wait a second. Hold, well, hold up. I did not pay for no damn 8. I paid for a 10. I want my 10. Oh, well, yeah, did you read the fine print? What fine print? All of a sudden, they wave a hand, and here comes all... It's like, it's like disappearing ink that's now reappeared. Well, hold up, that wasn't there when I signed this. Actually, yeah, it was. You just couldn't see it. Now, that might be an over-exaggeration, but it also is a kind of a scenario, right? If it fits, fits. If it, if it fits, then, then take it. You know what I mean? But, like, that is kind of some of the energy that I'm getting with this. And so now someone is walking away to go find that too, to complete their 10. And yet what I'm feeling like is... As you are finding that too, you're, com you're leaving this eight behind completely because you don't want to bring that two back to this toxic eight to just poison this balance that you have here, right? What I'm feeling like is in finding these two of cups, instead of going back to this eight, what you're going to do is going to, you're going to generate a new set of eight cups to complete that 10. But now you're doing it from a place of balance and harmony and union within. So with that said, 
the next thing that's coming through here is the fact that this is not something that you need to rush or that you even want to rush which is why you have this Knight of Pentacles with the chariot in reverse. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is not a rush, is not a rush type energy at all. Okay? The chariot is a is a fast moving energy. But what this is symbolizing here is the direction that you're going to be moving in, the actions that you're going to be taking, the steps you're going to be taking once you have found your union and balance, or at least once you have found a sufficient stability within your union and inner inner balance and what this is saying here is yes you could be moving fairly quickly okay with the chariot energy but what that's really what it's really more speaking to is the direction that you truly want to be moving in your true trajectory once you have found your balance because the chariot is very much about bringing opposing sides into balance, also your emotions into balance in order to guide you or drive you to where it is you truly desire to go. The Knight of Pentacles is representing a slow and steady pace, doing things methodically, going about it, um, I wanna say logically. It doesn't feel like a rush. The Knight of Pentacles is representing the process by which you are going to pursue your goals which is all which is represented by the chariot but right now but both of the, both of these are in reverse because right now you're in the dreamer energy and this is something that i've been allowing myself to do lately is literally just sit and daydream just daydream and actually through the daydreaming a lot of purging is happening because I'm allowing myself to just flow through my emotions, observe everything that comes up, feel through it. What does it represent? Why am I being triggered in this way? What am I releasing through this purging moment? Just allow yourself to flow through this because you are literally unraveling, untying yourself of mental social norms and conditions. You are literally breaking free right now. You're in the process of doing it. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This might, this might seem counterintuitive, but Virgo season is perfect for this. Now that I think about it, Virgo season is perfect for this. Virgo is a mutable sign. Virgo is very loyal and it's almost as if whatever what I'm seeing is what, whatever we're breaking out of here had us basically in a mutable state because we were allowing ourselves to be controlled by external circumstances instead of really listening to our inner compass, our inner guidance and following what is truly right for us rather than allow or uh, rather than following through with something with a need to be accepted or in a need to conform in some way all right kids i mean damn <laughs> that sounds great all right clarification time what I really want to do here is I want to get a little more clarity on this Two of Cups, Eight of Cups energy. And then we'll see what else. We'll move forward from there. I'm going to continue with my love affair uh, with the Wild <laughs> wild Unknown deck. I um, People have suggested that I start using this deck for a long time because I've been using... I used to use the sister deck to this, their oracle deck by the Wild Unknown. It's the Animal Spirit Guide. It's the Animal Spirit deck. Um, I used to use that one. Well, I still use it for mirror readings, but I used to do mirror readings here on YouTube. Um, I might bring those back soon. Anyway, um, but I always kind of shied away from this, the, their, the Wild Unknown's tarot deck because it's not really, it's really not traditional. Um, 
in the imagery, but I got it as a present. Uh, a friend of mine gave me a bunch of her decks that she was no longer using, and this was part of it, and I love it now. <laughs> it's become one of my favorites. And I have to say, one of my favorite aspects of it is the way it feels in my hands. Like the, the texture of the cards, the density of the cards, it's just like, they're really smooth and soft, but they almost have a matte finish to them. And they're flexible, but they're not flimsy. It's, I don't know, some of the things that you, you, <laughs> some, some of the things that you're thrilled by as a reader. <laughs> Those of you who are really into like reading cards yourselves, you'll, you'll know what I mean. But anyway, so I'm using the Wild Unknown deck right now. Um, and I just want to get some clarity on this inner union, this balance, two of cups, eight of cups energy. I mean, ultimately, what I'm, first of all, what I'm seeing here with this is um, the combination of eight plus two. Eight plus two equals 10. Someone has eight neatly stacked cups that if you look at them, they look, they look pretty disheveled, don't they? Okay, and someone is walking away in service of balancing or finding their two of cups, right? Now, now, I'm not really picking up that anyone's really going to be walking back to bring their cups back to this eight. It's entirely possible. For some of you, this eight may not be really all that toxic. But what I'm picking up on for the collective mostly is that this, whatever you're leaving behind is quite, it's fairly toxic. Okay, fairly toxic. Um, and even though you're not necessarily coming back to this, you're still now... It's like what you learned with the eight is bringing you back to your two so that you can then rebuild that eight in a better way because you have a better understanding by, through learning through contrast. To, and so, so now you're going to build that 10. So even though you're walking away from this eight in service of your two and you're not necessarily going back to that eight, you're still going to be building eight more, which is going to lead you to the 10. So ultimately, this eight plus this two still equals the 10. Does that make sense? Yes, okay. One more shuffle. And let's see what other clarity and guidance we can get here in terms of this two and eight of cups. Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Wands, look at that. Oh no, not the Wheel of Fortune, the world, even better, the world. Six of Wands, Queen of Wands, or in this deck, the Mother of Wands, the Moon, the Knight of Cups, or in this deck, the Son of Cups, and the Two of Cups again with overall energy of, <laughs> with an overall energy of the 10 of cups. Well, shit, you guys. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, that is really freaking awesome. That is so awesome. I don't really even know. Wow. So like I said, this energy of the Eight of Cups to the Two of Cups absolutely is leading to your 10. Absolutely is leading to your 10. Um, this might... I'm not going to lie, you guys, this might feel like a little bit of a dark night of the soul energy. That's, I'm getting that from the moon. Um, I mean, this has been a really rough, rough and tumble period. Um, the energies have been super, super heavy. There's been a lot of clearing, a lot of cleansing, a lot of purging. Okay. Um, but ultimately... Ultimately, it's bringing, it's bringing things to a close. Major cycles are coming to a close here, all right? Um, oh, what I wanted to say is this, I'm getting an energy of this might be a dark night of the soul type energy for you guys, but 
the thing about it is, it's not as, I just saw 9-11 again. It's not as, uh, I wanna say it's not as dire. It, it's almost as if I, I'm just nonchalantly, oh uh, yeah, Dark Knight of the Soul, huh, look at that. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of how it feels. Even though I know personally, I mean, I've been going through the ringer. I've been <laughs> crying like damn near every day. Like I, I broke the fuck down last night. Not even gonna lie to you guys. Like <laughs> I was just like, oh my God, just take me now. Like, can we just end this please? Oh my God, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and yet, I don't know how to describe it. I really don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's like we've gotten stronger. We've gotten better. Even though, you know, we're purging pretty hard right now, some of the things that we're facing are really tough. But it's because of the fact that we have, in fact, leveled up. Okay? We have, in fact, gotten stronger. So it's almost, so that's why I can kind of, even though I know this is a heavy period, I know that what we're dealing with is some really tough and strong stuff. Like, we're really being tested. We're really being pushed to our limits right now. But yet, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, that's happening. Okay. You know, it, I, I know that's contradictory. And yet, that's what it feels like. We have the Six of Wands, Victory, with the Queen of Wands. And you can see kind of you can kind of see this six of wands energy as like a phoenix from the ashes risen type of situation, mainly in the form of this butterfly here that seems to have escaped the brambles that would hold it back. The brambles, I want to say the brambles of fear. Kind of what those wands look like down there, right? It looks like a, a, a thorn bush. Could we call that a rose bush? I don't know if you guys are hearing my stomach right now, but if you are, I apologize. But could we call that a rose bush? Mm, every rose has its thorn. Queen of Wands or Mother of Wands. The biggest message I'm getting from that Queen of Wands is confidence. Stay confident in yourself because you are going to be victorious here. You are going to overcome this and you will be better off for it. Knight of Wands, I'm sorry, Knight of Cups or in this case, Son of Cups, with the Two of Cups. Allowing your heart to be free is what I just heard. This is the balance of masculine and feminine, feminine the union within that is allowing you to be more open, vulnerable, available, live with your heart on your sleeve, that kind of energy. But vulnerable in a good way like allowing yourself to be, to live, to love yourself. That's beautiful, you guys. So now I wanna clarify this a little bit here. And we're gonna actually, we're gonna use a different deck for it. We're gonna use the Golden Universal Tarot. So what are we dreaming about? Let's talk about that for a little bit. What are we dreaming about? Or how do we want to how do we want to ask this? How do we want to Cuz I don't I don't necessarily want to I don't want to necessarily talk about what we're dreaming about. I I want to get advice in some way for this. I'm hearing you <laughs> They just said use your intuition. Okay. All right, fine. What that means is I'm just going to I'm going to ask for advice and I'm going to let the cards fall out and we'll see what they say. My intuition will guide us. Yes, okay, I get it. One last. One last shuffle here. All right. So guidance here in terms of what we're dreaming about. Take a sip. Okay. Here we go, guys. Let's get some guidance, some clarity. What do you have to say about this spirit, this dreamer energy, this, before we get started, before we start moving in our new direction? Woo, the nine of swords with the knight of swords. Overall energy of judgment. <laughs> Ha 
Okay, overall energy of judgment. But, um... You guys, you can't rush this. Nine of Swords, Knight of Swords. What I'm feeling like here is... There is anxiety. I I'm hearing and feeling that, uh, that you're allowing anxiety to creep in because of a lack of movement. And you're wanting to rush forward, take action. And yet it's not necessary right now because you're still answering the call. Judgment, and you see the, the, the magician is right, oh my God, the magician, the two of cups is at the bottom of the deck. Shit, you guys. <laughs> you still have this balance to come into first. Allow this balance to take place. And it doesn't matter how long it's gonna take. Keep in mind that time is an illusion, guys. All right, so this is, we are not, we are multidimensional beings who are, don't, who, I mean, we're not, we don't have to be bound by time. Those of us that, w that want to bound, bind us to time are trying to control us. Okay, I mean, allow this balance, allow this union to take place. This is what you're manifesting right now with the magician here. This is what you're manifesting, your inner union. You can see this as going through some sort of portal with the judgment card, if, if you want to look at it that way. All right? The call is being answered. The call is in the process of being answered. You can't rush this. You don't have to rush this. Let the union take place first. St first, stop judging yourself. That's what I just heard. Okay. Closing message from the universe. We're gonna get it from the dragons because I'm really feeling this deck right now. Queen of Pentacles is underneath at the bottom of the deck here. Um, nurturance, grounding, abundance, the mother type energy. Allow yourself to be mothered right now. Mother yourself. Show yourself that care and compassion and nurturance that you need, that perseverance, sticking by yourself, you know, not turning your back on yourself, like being there, sticking it out through the long, for the long haul. I just, I just want to, I just want to remind you guys, I just want to point out that this two of cups came out in all three decks that we used today. All three tarot decks, the two, the two of cups came out. One, two, three. This is your focus right now. Balancing your inner masculine and feminine energies. This is literally what is happening right now for this part of the collective that I'm channeling for. Okay? Do not rush this. You cannot rush this. Hold steady. When the time is right, you will know when to take action. It could be months from now. Who knows? Quite frankly, who cares? Enjoy this time with yourself. This may be an L, this may be a period, this might be something that we're moving into as we're moving into fall, where we will really start to come together, fall into winter. I know me personally, I've been feeling like this winter is gonna be a st really strong period for me to just like, hibernate and recuperate. And I've been even saying jokingly to friends, it's like, I'm excited for the winter because I get to hibernate for at least three months and not have to really see anybody, <laughs> you know? I mean, I'm joking, but at the same time, I'm kind of not, <laughs> you know? 
<coughs> Excuse me. All right, kids. Last shuffle. And we'll see. Let's see. Oracle guidance, please, dragons and spirits. Oracle guidance for us, please, dragons. Oh. Archangel Gabriel's dragon. Archangel Gabriel's dragon brings purification. Self-discipline will speed ascension and bring joy. You can carry Archangel Gabriel's diamond. Is that what that said? Yes, you can carry Archangel Gabriel's diamond. Ooh, I like this. Oh, okay. Let's see. I'm going to guess this is a sixth dimensional dragon. Fifth. Oh, it doesn't have sixth. Seventh then? No, actually, this would be a ninth. Nope. Okay. Sorry, I'm just guessing here, guys, but... What is it? Archangel Gabriel's dragon. Oh, it's a fourth dimensional. Okay, here we go. 48. Uh, page 48. I was like, you guys needed to know that. Anyway. <laughs> okay, here we go. No, it's a fifth dimensional. Oh, I was close. It was. It's a fifth dimensional dragon. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, here we go. Fifth dimensional dra diamond white dragons serve Archangel Gabriel, the mighty, pure white angel of clarity, joy, and hope. When we are ready to connect more deeply to him, his dragons shine their crystal light into our energy fields and physical body, allowing deep cleansing and purification to take place. They light up our true essence and we become transparent to the spiritual world. This means that all the lower energies have not been released. I'm sorry. This means that all the lower energies that have not been released from our auric field become visible. So it is important to forgive, love, and respect ourselves and others so that our aura becomes totally clear. Then the dragons will rejoice, for we are ready to walk the diamond ascension path. They will lead the way, clearing and energizing our sparkling new high frequency journey and bringing us clarity, hope, and joy so that Archangel Gabriel with his diamond wings can overlight us. The guidance from this card says, receiving this card implies that you are expected to cooperate with Archangel Gabriel's diamond white dragons use, using self-examination and self-discipline to accelerate your ascension. The dragons can then illuminate your, you internally with happiness, clarity, and higher expectation. You'll, you will become a shining beacon and will automatically radiate light that shows others the way. You will have earned the right to be a walking master. You will carry in your fields the glorious light of Archangel Gabriel's cosmic diamond, which is a life-transforming ascension tool. The diamond white dragons will swirl and dance around you, ensuring that the glittering, shimmering cosmic diamond stays securely in place over your energy fields. It will protect your aura and fill you with joy, purity, and bliss. Beautiful. I mean, just, just gorgeous. Gorgeous, y'all. Yes? So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a really fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.